Hello. Okay, you guys, we have just completed um, attaching not only our pocket to the front side of our panel, we have also ironed and, ooh, so sorry. We have also ironed and added a top stitching, quarter of an inch seam allowance mm, for our pocket. So each panel um, has the pocket both stitched, ironed, and um, top stitched. Next up, we are going to attach our pocket at the panels. So we're gonna attach both our, our front panels to the back panel and our pockets. And after that, we're gonna hem. So I will show you what happens or what this thing looks like after I attach the front panels to the back panel and the pockets. See you guys then. Okay, you guys. So we're about to t attach the back panel to the front side panels. And to do that, you wanna do that um, right sides together. So I'm going to pin my pockets right side together. So just stick a few pins around the, the roundness of the pocket. I actually tend to pin a lot more than other uh, seamstresses that I've seen online, but it's all personal preference. So I just wanna make sure that when we sew, what we're gonna do is um, open up your seam allowances at the top of your pockets on both the front and back side. Looks like I ironed this one down pretty good. And, oh, okay. So this is actually the front faced um, seam and it looks like I just pinned this the wrong way. It's good. And you can tell that because the wrong side of the fabric is on the inside and that's not right. Shoot. So this is the right side of the back. So that goes on this side. So this one comes over here. So this is what happens when you sew to the wrong side of the garment, both sides end up the same. I'm gonna have to fix this. To be okay, right. I got my life together and this is right. So you're gonna put this stuff right sides together. Now the fourth of an inch that you've sewn to the front of your um, front panel is going to open out toward your pocket and you're just going to pin that in Actually, pin that in place Match up your notches, pin. You really don't need a lot of pins. I typically pin a lot, but you don't really need to with this because there's a little stretch. But you will notice that there is a little give with the fabric. So just remember always that you are, when you're hitting the seams, that you wanna match up your seams make sure that they line up really good. And I'll show you how to sew this together. I should probably trim this, so. Or you can serge. I'm using shortcuts, so don't judge me. So luckily we will be ironing this fabric again for those wrinkly spots. Y'all saw that happen. Um, so don't sweat it right now because we will be ironing it soon. So I'm just pinning the other side so that way I can work both sides at the same time. After I finish one, I will sew the other.
Okay, so let's go ahead and go to our sewing machines and sew down. So what we're going to do to just, I'm just gonna let you guys know. Okay guys, we are now about to sew this stuff down. So when you are first um, sewing down your pockets, you want to, within a fourth of an inch from your seam, just a fourth of an inch from your seam, you're going to sew down about an inch or so. That kind of closes the pocket in. And then you can lift up your needle and now you can begin to sew the top of your pocket all the way around. And this is gonna be one continuous stitch all the way around. You can use your 5 8 seam allowance at this point. Just be sure once you hit the top corner to pivot and eyeball where that seam allowance is gonna hit. Mine is a little bit big. Nope, it's actually okay. and easy. And just go slow when you hit the curves so you can make sure to maintain your seam allowance. And then once you get to your seam at the bottom of your pocket, go ahead and uh, kind of realign your fabric. And sew through your seam about a quarter of an inch and then pivot. So you're gonna raise your needle, uh, your, your foot up, pivot on the needle and then sew down. And your goal here is to hit back at that 5 8 seam allowance and then just go straight down. And I'll show you a little trick that I learned from, I think it was a, a Vogue pattern. Yeah, I think it was Vogue 8930 with a coat pattern pocket. Um, it's something I do with all of my pockets. And you'll notice too that I haven't cut at the bottom of my uh, my fabric where the writing is and I'll show you why momentarily get the back stitch so this little corner here's the seam and I'm just going to nip it with a little triangle or so in this corner. So you're, I usually don't have this difficult of a time. Naturally, because I'm recording, everything goes wrong. It's all good. So you just wanna create some movement right here in this corner. So you can see that little triangle that I cut and it's really not that big. Maybe it is. I don't know. Anyways, so we're gonna sew up the the other side really quick. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Sew down about an inch, and you can eyeball it. So you want to put your foot on your seam allowance. Sew down about an inch. doesn't have to be perfect. And then the next step is to start at your 5 8 seam allowance at the top of your pocket. Remember to pivot at the top corner. So 
I'm hitting a curve now, so I'm just going to take it a little, you can slow it down. Just to make sure you maintain your seam allowance. like a little bulk. Okay, it's actually okay. So remember to sew through your seam here. And I think I went a little further than a fourth of an inch this time. Here's the easy part. So there's excess fabric on this side because my fabric isn't even at this point. Just keep it a real, just keep it a real. Okay, so I'm still gonna do my clip here. And I went further out than a quarter of an inch and it's gonna actually work out better this time. So when you're um, cutting this little corner and you don't, don't actually have to do, you just wanna open it up. You don't have to do a triangle, you just want to nip it just to create some movement at the base of your pocket and you're good to go. Just be sure not to cut through your seam. And that's that. Um, so now we have the back or the bottom of our dress completed almost completed. Now we are going to, I just mentioned how I did not cut off the end of my fabric here. And that's because I'm actually going to roll this under twice to create my hem. Um, and when you turn it over twice, this actually gets lost. You see that? So it's gone. So I'm okay with leaving it on there. It gives me this extra length when I turn it. Um, and it goes away anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that throughout the end, the bottom of this, and then I'm going to pin it and sew it. So after I complete that step, I will be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, you guys, we are back. I have ironed the bottom of my pocket, the seams at the bottom of my pocket, and I have also um, uh, folded over the bottom of my fabric, pinned, and I actually ironed. So the key for the bottom of the skirt and a lot of the top of the skirt is ironing. You never want to skip this step. It's going to give you a great crisp bottom to your to your skirt. Jacket dress, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, iron that down. And now I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and sew. So I will show you what it looks like after that. And get ready to iron after you iron again after you sew down your hem. Here's a shot of the finished skirt. The hem and the pleats. Hey, you guys. Um, I have just completed pinning my bodice to my skirt, and you guys can take a look. Um, so you'll want to take your time, um, and because you might deal with some bunching um with the bodice and skirt not matching up completely so you may want to nip within your seam allowances on your straight side and pull to meet up to your looser side um or you might want to throw in like a little uh pleat on your bodice just to make sure everything matches up so um like i said take your time on this part make sure everything is matching up try it on be careful because obviously you've put pins into this thing. So, um, but try it on. This is a great time to try on your jacket dress to make sure that it fits across your bust. Um, and 
once you have that nailed, then it's time to go ahead and sew. So I'm gonna go ahead and move to the sewing machine. Um, I'll spare you the details, but I will try this on afterwards um, and show you the next step. Thanks guys. Hey you guys, um, I actually missed one minor step here. Before you go ahead and roll and pin your hem, what I want you to do is iron from the little clip underneath the pocket, iron that fabric open. You're gonna iron your seam allowance open um, and that's gonna seal in the crease below your pocket so it's nice and crisp. So go ahead and do that. Iron down below your pocket and then fold the bottom of your fabric twice towards the, the inside of your jacket or your skirt and pin and sew and your hemming will be done. All right, you guys, right, I have guys. just sewn together my bodice to my skirt and I'm about to try this on really quick. Um, please, please note that you're gonna be sewing across um, several layers of fabric at this point. So you'll wanna make sure that your pleats, if they're on the bottom, that they are flat. You wanna make sure that all of your fabric is flat at this point, um, on the bottom or the top, whichever. Um, okay, so this thing fits. It wouldn't be a bad idea to double stitch your waist just because it's so thick and you just wanna make sure everything is intact. Um, so your pockets, like I said, you're sewing across um, several layers of fabric. So make sure that your pockets are facing towards the um, front panels when you sew. That's crucial. All right, boom, boom. I do need to finish these cuffs, but anyways. All right, so that's that. So the last and final step before we finish this sucker is to turn in, this is the only unfinished uh, edge. So what we need to do is turn in from, from edge to edge um, the inside of this, the neck, the front of your whole garment here, okay? It needs to be turned in, okay? So we basically are going to do the same thing that we did on the hem, turn it in twice, pin, iron, and sew it in. And you're done. Aren't you excited? We're almost there. Okay, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do that. You do it on your end, and we'll reconvene after I finish, okay? See you guys soon. Well, guys, we have finally reached the end. We have completed our jacket dresses. Thank you so much for watching along and hopefully making your own jacket dress. Um, I hope that you saw some tips and tricks that helped you accomplish your look. Um, please visit the blog, afashionite.com, to see the finished look. And also, please, please, please remember to like and share. Tag me in your pictures with the hashtag um, see it, sew it, style it. Tag me at a fashion addict one. See you guys soon. Thanks again so much for following along.